everybody. My name's Tony, and I'm here with Everyday Counts. And we have an hour together for chair yoga. So make sure that the chair you are on is stable and steady, and that you've got space around you that you're not going to bump yourself. Today we're going to be working with fluidity of breath and try and allow that fluidity to guide our movements. So whether you're sitting into the back of your chair or sitting forward, start in a place that's comfortable for you and it doesn't have to look a particular way. There's no right and wrong here to this class. This is all about finding what works in your body and adapting and adjusting anything to feel better for you. So we're rooting down through the feet. Connecting downwards, doing the same thing to our seat, really sitting deeply into that seat. Rooting to rise, lifting up through the spine, up through the crown of our head. Collarbones are wide, shoulders are soft. And if there's any adjustments you need to make here, simply for it to be more comfortable for you, please go ahead. We'll take a breath in. And exhale, allow that to settle. Take a few more breaths like that. And if it feels comfortable to soften your gaze or close your eyes, to tune into this moment, please go ahead. Allow your day to feel a little bit further away as you give yourself the permission to be here moving and breathing in your own way that's working with your body, not against it. Offering yourself a gentle practice today. With as much or little effort as you feel like you have to give. We find the breath. And we find the breath within the body. So you might notice where you feel the breath the most. Notice if the breath feels restricted. If there are places within the breath that it feels easier. Notice as the breath moves through your body, how your body feels. Allow the breath to get as smooth as you can make it. Evening the inhale and the exhale. Not that they have to be the same length, but just smoothing them out as best as you can. And it's within this fluid breath, or as fluid as we can allow the breath to become today, that we'll find fluid range of motion as well. So from here, rooting to rise, steady breath, and fluidity of the breath. We'll take the nose all the way over to the right side, only as much as it feels comfortable in your body that you could rest here. This is the exhale on the inhale, we'll draw the nose up towards the sky, exhaling to the left. The movement doesn't have to be big, it can be the perfect amount for you, working with that fluidity of breath. Working with your breath length and rhythm. 
within that movement, within that fluidity of breath, simply notice where you feel this in your body. Next time the nose comes to the right, we'll stay. Steady breath. This is now the inhale on the exhale. We'll draw the chin down towards the chest. Inhale up to the other side. And again, always adjusting and adapting things to feel better for you. Within that fluid breath, finding a range of motion that feels sustainable and comfortable. Noticing the feedback that your body is giving you about whether you need to adjust or change anything. The next time we take the chin down towards the chest, stay there for a few breaths, deciding for yourself whether you need to back off and bring the nose up a little or you can take the chin down. One is not better than the other. More is not better. What feels best in your body is what's right for you in this moment. And the next inhale will bring the crown of the head up. Yoga is simply uh, building awareness in your body, your breath, your practice. Now from here, we'll take that right arm up, palm towards me, or palm on or towards that right shoulder. Soften the shoulders back and down, wide collarbones, rooting to rise. We've still got that fluid breath. And with that fluidity, we start tiny circles through the elbow as if we're drawing circles in the air. Option to stay here, option to make those movements bigger or smaller. Keeping the upper body as stable and as still as you can. Option to stay here or to make those movements a little bigger, bringing in a gentle thoracic twist, making the hips steady and stable. Mm -hmm. Taking the gaze with you as far over towards the right as feels good for you. Noticing which direction you're going in. Coming back to center, resting for a little if you want to. And then the hand comes back to wherever it was before and we take the opposite direction. Start small, the breath, that fluid breath is guiding the movement. You can make those movements bigger or smaller but the breath, again, is always the lead. Keeping this or allowing yourself to twist with the movement so we get the spine involved as well. You can take the gaze with that elbow or anywhere that feels right to you. One more. And the shoulder releases, the arm comes down and we roll through the shoulder in one direction. And then back in the other direction. Steady, fluid breath, fluid movement. If the breath or the movement gets choppy, do less, rest. I'll take that right hand back to support left arm comes up. Fingertips on or towards the shoulder if that feels better for you and we circle through that elbow. Whatever feels comfortable for you here, getting that range of motion through the shoulder but the breath is guiding the range of motion as big or as small as you like. If it becomes 
bigger and the breath gets choppy, then do less. You can stay here or start to take the twist with the movement. Taking the gaze with you if that feels okay in your neck. Always choosing for yourself in every moment whether you can adapt or change this to simply feel better. Notice which direction you're going in. And then we rest just for a few breaths, anything you need here in that left shoulder. Hand comes back to where you had it before. And we move. Small circles. And this is a great place to stay. Range of motion. Fluid with the breath. You can make those movements bigger or smaller, your choice. And then option to bring a twist through the spine. You can take the gaze with you. Notice where you're feeling it. Always pay attention to sensations your body is telling you or letting you know about so you can adjust things. Rest if you need to, another two, if you haven't rested already. Mm -hmm. the left hand comes down, roll through the shoulder in one direction, and then back in the opposite direction. From here, sitting away from the back of your chair, if you don't need the support as we're coming into the spine a little bit more. From here, we're going to take the elbows in towards us and imagine that you're in a rowing boat. Knuckles to the sky, soft fists. And we're simply going to circle with the arms to start with. Imagine that you're moving through honey. On the inhale now, drawing the elbows back and we get an extension in the spine as the arms, elbows draw back as the heart lifts. And on the exhale, as you push the hands forward, belly comes in towards the spine and we're rounding. So the inhale, extension, exhale, flexion. And if you prefer seated cat and cow with the hands on the thighs, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, inhaling and exhaling. And those hands can come out in front of you as much or as little as you like. Allow yourself to make this movement as fluid as you can with your breath. You can take the gaze up on the inhale, down on the exhale to get into the back of the neck and the throat. Notice where you feel this. Slowing the movement. So it matches the breath. Excellent place to stay right here. And then we're going to turn it around in the opposite direction. So at the end of that exhale, we're going to turn it around. And this might not feel very different, or it may. Steady and smooth, resting if you ever need to. Another three here. End of the exhale. Draw the belly in towards the spine and let the hands dangle. Chin in towards the chest if that feels okay. Breathe into the back of the ribs. Back of the heart. That flexion in the spine. Hands come to support here. We're going to lift ourselves all the way up, rolling the shoulders, any movement you need to ease any tension. And then we'll take those hands back beside us. Collarbones wide, shoulders down and away from the ears, rooting down through your feet. This is the inhale on the exhale. We're tipping over to one side. Inhaling up, tipping over to the other, getting that full range of motion 
through the lateral side of the spine, the lateral body. And as you're moving here now, with that fluidity, consider what's happening in your sit bones. One is lifting as you go to the other side, then connect them both downwards. So that fluidity is still there, but it may be that when you keep both sit bones down, the range of motion is a little less. This means that we're really truly getting into the spine rather than bringing the hips and the pelvis involved in the movement. Fluid movement, steady and smooth option next time we come over towards the right side to stay a few breaths here bringing that left shoulder wide collarbones wide here left sit bone rooted down rooting to rise so we've still got that length through the spine we're just reaching over towards that right side stay for the next exhale and then we're going towards the left you can stay in movement or stillness coming to the left that right shoulder draws back heart shining forward and we're breathing, rooting down, lifting through the crown of the head. And then we're coming all the way up. Any movements you need at all to feel better, go ahead. Coming into a twist here. So we're gonna start twisting towards the left side and then over to the right. So the right palm comes out towards the screen. This is the inhale, drawing the elbow back any amount, and that elbow can be down by your um, ribs to start with. On an exhale, we're gonna tap it over to the left shoulder. Notice as you do this, if the left shoulder is curling forward, see if you can roll it back and down. Inhaling wide, exhaling, tapping. It doesn't have to get there, but we want the upper body to stay as still as possible, mm -hmm. getting that range of motion across the front of the shoulder here. Option to stay here. If we're adding on, depending on what feels okay in your shoulders, we're taking the left arm up. This is the inhale again, bringing that right elbow back. Exhale, tapping towards the elbow. We've got a lot of leeway here. You can bring that elbow forward or back, depending on that range of motion. Inhale, exhale. And you can take the gaze with that twist if you like. Hips are rooted, feet are rooted. This is option two. Rest whenever you need to, or the third option is to take palm to palm. Now you can bring the hand forward so it's less of a twist. You can bring it back so it's more of a twist. You get to decide. And you can take the gaze with you, keeping the pelvis rooted, especially that right side so we're not shifting the hips forward as we twist which again brings it into the pelvis rather than the spine. You can take that gaze way over the left shoulder depending on the range of motion that you have. Got another three wherever it is that you want to be. And again, maybe you bring the hand back a little, maybe you bring it more forward to make it a little more comfortable in your body. Last one, I think I counted one extra there. Then we're going to take those hands down, any movements you need, go ahead and do that. And we're coming to the other side, rooting to rise. Left palm comes towards the front, elbow in towards the ribs, not that the elbow will probably get there. That's the inhale, we're drawing the back of the palm back without twisting through the spine. On the exhale, we're twisting that um, bringing that left hand over towards the right shoulder. Notice, I notice immediately that my right shoulder comes to meet it. See if you can keep those wide collarbones. And that hand doesn't ever have to get there, no big deal. Great place to be. The inhale is just as important as that exhale crossing over. Option to stay here. Option to take that right hand up and we're coming towards the elbow. This time we're going to reach a little more, keeping that left hip back. Elbow can come forward or back depending on your range of motion. Noticing how that feels for you. Take the gaze with you. That gaze can come all the way over that right shoulder if that feels comfortable for you. But the breath is fluid. Fluid movements, fluid breath. 
Inhale, just as important, drawing that elbow back. Option to stay here, option, palm to palm. And again, you can bring that palm forward if you want less of a twist, if that feels better in your body, or as your range of motion maybe changes as the movement opens up through the body, that palm can come back a little or maybe not. Maybe it feels better to bring it more forward. Left hip is not creeping forward and the gaze can come over the right shoulder any amount. Another three here. Always resting early if that feels better for you. Mm -hmm. Coming back to center, taking those hands down, we're gonna roll through the shoulders, anything that feels nice there. Bringing the shoulders back over the hips, you can take the hands dangling or on support. All we're gonna do here, this is the inhale, is slide the shoulders towards the right. Inhale to center, slide over towards the left. Mm -hmm. And again, we're not tick-tocking backwards and forwards here. We don't want to use momentum. We want to use that control of the body. Notice what's happening in your legs and hips in particular. As we slide to one side, we kind of naturally sit into that side. Consider keeping both sides of the pelvis down. That will limit the range of motion, but you're really starting to get into that corset of muscles around you. Mm -hmm. Only working with your fluid breath, of course. That range of motion is different each side and it's different for us all. So it's going to look very different depending on what's going on in our body. Two more either side. Mm-hmm. And we'll come all the way back to center. And then from there, we're going to take those feet a little wider. So that's going to be different for each of you. And if you want to come forward on your chair because you like less support or you want to come back, then change it up so you feel stable here. Rooting down to rise. Steady breath. Hands come to support in any which way. And we're gonna roll through those ribs. And again, this is a controlled fluid motion. And it might not feel fluid to you, but that's what we're working towards. Hula hooping through those ribs as if you can move those ribs on the inhale. They're coming forward to the side and then exhaling, coming back. Again, without momentum. So this is a controlled movement. Notice where you feel this in your body. You can get your shoulders, your hips, your head and neck involved. Make this movement your own. Doesn't have to be a particular way, but we definitely want the control there, even if that means that we have to make the movement smaller. And then we'll take it round in the opposite direction when you're ready. Smooth and steady. Mm -hmm. Rest whenever you need to or another three in this direction. Controlled movement, controlled fluid breath. Coming all the way back to center. And from here, we're gonna keep that external rotation. If you need to change that up at any point to make it feel more comfortable for you, go ahead. So, collarbones wide, breath is steady. Rooting to rise always. This is the inhale and the exhale. We're gonna uh, just curl over towards the right, inhaling up, exhaling there. And your hand is there to support you. You can use that on the side of your chair, on your thigh, anything else you have handy that's stable. Excellent place to be. Wide through the collarbones. Notice where you feel this. 
Option to stay here, pulsing. Option to come to one side, supporting yourself with your hand or your forearm, depending on the range of motion and what feels good in your body and the length of your bones. Rolling the left shoulder back, so we've got these wide collarbones. And we do like to dump our weight into our hand or our forearm here. So kind of leaning off towards the side, but what we want is engagement. So draw the belly in and then use that as leverage to draw the ribs towards the left side. So the difference between me sitting here hanging out and the difference between me engaging through the core of the body. Left fingertips can spider walk towards the front of that knee. Turn that palm up, inhale from the elbow, exhaling down. And the collarbones are wide here, so that left shoulder is drawn back. And we've done a little bit of that with the movements and the twisting and through the um, opening up through the shoulder earlier. Option to stay here from the elbow. Option on the inhale to come up, exhale to come down. And those joints can be nice and easy. Shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers, and thumbs. Imagine that you're moving through water. That's the fluidity. Breath is easy and fluid too. Mm -hmm. If when those fingertips come over towards the right, that left hip gets a little lighter, see if you can root it down. And we can do that by rooting into the right forearm and shifting the, um, the upper body towards the left. Option to stay here flowing. Option to take that left arm overhead and stay. Palms facing down, but we're rolling through that shoulder. If you need the support of your hand or your thigh on the right leg, then do that. Or hover, consider whether you can stay here with the ribs drawn towards the left without that support. If you have it, option to take that beach ball above you over towards the right hand side, as big or as small as feel comfy in your shoulders, rolling that shoulder open, rooting to rise. The ribs are drawn to the left and you're breathing fluidly. Breathe into that left rib, left side of the body, left sit bone is rooting down. Stay for one last breath. Hands come for support if they're not already there and we come all the way up. Any movements you need in your shoulder or upper body, go ahead. And we're coming to the other side. Rooting to rise. Fluidity of breath. This is the inhale and the exhale. We're curling over towards the left, inhaling up. And this gives us, as we move here, this gives us the time to check out how our body feels here and if we need to adjust something. We need to sit back or forward on our chair. If the legs need to be closer towards each other. If, the, if we can do anything to make the breath easier. Option to pulse. Option to stay, hand can support you or the forearm. If it is the forearm, consider turning the palm up, which opens up through the shoulder, and then that right shoulder can roll back. Dumping your weight, that's fine, great place to be, just getting used to this here. Or use that support to shift the upper body and the right ribs over towards the right. Notice how that feels. And you can come backwards and forwards and you might notice there's a big shift in body weight from the left side. And if we open the ribs towards the right, then it evens up through the pelvis, through the feet. Great place to stay right here. Right fingertips can widen from the elbow. If you turn the palm up, inhaling up, exhaling down, great place to be. Fluidity of breath, always the first thing. And then the breath guides the movement from the shoulder, if that feels okay for you. Again, more is not better here. What feels better for you in your body? Imagine moving through honey. So there is that fluid motion. You can reach through the fingers if you want to lengthen through the joints. Just work with your body, not against it. 
option to take the hands overhead and stay. We're reaching, but we're using that forearm to reach over with the right ribs to the right. Breathing, easy breaths, rooting to rise, breath is fluid. Consider whether you need the support of that left hand or left forearm. If you don't, option, we're here for three breaths with that beach ball as big or as small as feels comfortable, rolling the right shoulder wide so the collarbones are facing forward. Fluid breath. If the breath is lost, then do less. One last breath. And then on that exhale, that left forearm or hand comes down and we're inhaling all the way up. Rolling through the shoulders one way, any movement you need, go ahead. Just easing through the shoulders here, so the hands come inwards. Coming into shoulder dip, so this is the inhale and the exhale, we're going to twist towards the left. Push away with the right thigh and we gaze towards the left. Inhaling up, exhaling down. As much or as little movement as feels good for you here. Mm -hmm. Another three on this side. Notice where you feel this. Notice if you want to stay somewhere and breathe for a few breaths. And then we'll go to the other side, twisting to the left or the right, dipping that left shoulder down. Mm -hmm. Another three on the side, you can always rest. And then we're coming all the way back to center heel, towing that le those legs into center here. Noticing the breath, rooting to rise from there, that width across the collarbone, shoulders are down, coming back to your center. And from here, we're gonna come down to the floor and I'll meet you there. So down on the floor, finding that same fluidity especially in the lower body now. So, lying all the way down, making sure you have the support that you need for this to happen. Adjusting yourself, knees to the sky, feet to the floor. And we're coming back to the breath. I'm gonna take that right knee in towards us, give yourself a little hug here. That's the inhale. On the exhale, we're going to extend that leg up towards the sky. Inhaling and exhaling. Mm -hmm. This is getting in through the flexion of the hip, through the knee and through the ankle. Left foot is on the floor for support. Inhaling and exhaling. From here, option to stay here or we're gonna to start to send that leg out on an angle. Inhale, pushing away. Doesn't have to be straight. But the longer the leg comes, then the more challenging it is to keep everything stable and still. Inhaling, sending that away as much as is comfortable for you. And maybe for some of you that heel will hover from the floor, but making sure that the fluidity of the breath is still there. Inhaling and exhaling. Hands come wherever they're comfortable. Great place to be, right here. And then from there, depending on what's going on in your body, we're gonna take it out towards the side. So here, we're taking it just 
flexion and extension. So we're going to come to the same movement, but we're going to take it round to the side and then round and back. Inhaling and exhaling. And you might notice as you take it out towards the side that you get less stable on the left side. Option to take the left knee out towards the side as you're bringing the right leg round. And that might help stabilize things. Inhale, extension, exhaling out. So your choice here, whether it's straight or whether you're going out towards the side, getting that range of motion through the hips. Breath is easy, fluid. Movement as fluid and as easy as you can make it. And the same thing, no matter what trajectory you're going in, out towards the side. And so we're getting that full motion through the hips. Next time, we bring the knee in. We'll give it a little hug. Mm -hmm. And then from here, taking that foot down, left knee draws in. Give it a little hug here. This is the exhale on the inhale. Sending that foot up towards the sky, doesn't have to be straight, exhaling down. We want the fluidity of the motion. This is great for hips, knees, ankles, getting that flex in the right ankle. You can even point and flex if you want to get more into it. Mm -hmm. And again, as that heel pushes up towards the sky, it doesn't have to be a straight leg option to start to send that out at kind of like a 45 degree angle same as the trajectory of your right thigh inhaling and exhaling breath is easy if you've lost the breath we do less option to send that heel down a little further towards the floor but depending on the stability of the breath, so we're always looking for that fluidity of the breath to guide the movement. Great place to be. If you want to add that external rotation there, then we're coming round to the side, drawing the heel down and drawing it back out to the side as it comes up different motion. I've got a wall right there, so I'm going to come towards this screen a little. There might be some clicks and clacks, there certainly are in my body. Inhaling and exhaling. And again, as you bring that left leg out towards the side, if you need to widen the right knee to keep stability in the core, then go ahead and do that. And this can be brought in any trajectory you want. So if you're still working at a 45 degree angle or up towards the sky, then you can still get that external rotation there. Depending on what's going on in your hip. Steady and smooth. The breath will always guide you as to what it is that you need to be doing here. Next time that knee comes in, give it a little hug. And then from here, wherever you are, reassess your base. And then we're bringing both knees in towards you. Give yourself a little hug. And then the knees come up over your belly button or over your hips. Heels can be down for easier. You can take a little flex in that foot. That might help just with stability. Or you can take the ankles up to knee height. From here, root down through both shoulders. You can take the shoulders in a cactus like I have them, or you can take them in a T. This is the inhale. On the exhale, with that fluid breath, we're taking the knees all the way over to the right side. Left hip lifts a little. Inhale back to center. 
and over towards the left. So we're going from side to side, but it is not a rocking. We're not using momentum here. It is steady movement, ankles and knees in towards each other, like you've got a mermaid tail. Inhale to center, exhale to the other side. And we're only going as far as we feel like it's sustainable. If you want to add on, send the knees a little bit further away from you. And it's not going to take very much for that to change things in your body. Keeping the knees and ankles together so you're not shearing them, you're not taking um, one knee in front of the other. So we really want that connection and that's where we get the lift through the hips and that's where we get into the corset of the transverse abdominals. Steady breath, always steady breath. If you want to add on and have less support underneath you, take your arms up towards the ceiling if you're holding a basketball, shoulders are rooted down. And from here, as we take the knees over towards the right, the arms go to the left. Inhaling to center and back in the opposite direction. Again, no momentum here. It is a controlled movement. Adding on, you're taking the knees further away, lessening the challenge. You're bringing the knees closer over towards your belly button. Option, next time the knees come to the right, you stay there, three breaths. Reaching with the left fingertips, if you've got your hands up, reaching through the knees, both knees, including the left knee. Steady breath. Coming back to center and over to the other side. Staying three breaths. Reaching with the fingertips, but the shoulders are rooted. Knees are over towards the opposite direction. That right hip is lifted. And then we're coming all the way back to center. Hands come down, knees come down. Give yourself a little break here. And then we're picking the hips up, shifting them over towards the left side. From here, option to take any twist you want or we're crossing over that left leg on top of the right. If you've got any SI joint issues, this is not the twist for you. You're keeping your knees and ankles towards each other and taking the knees over to the right. Otherwise, bound roots with those legs crossed over each other. We're taking that whole shape over towards the right. You can take a bolster, any support underneath you there. Left shoulder is rooted and the gaze is over the left shoulder. If that feels okay in your neck and the shoulder is connected down to the earth. Breathing into that inner and outer left hip. Smooth and steady breaths. Any adjustments you need to make, the height of your knees or taking them further away from you, that is your choice. And again, if this twist does not work in your body, if you need to take another twist for it to feel better, go ahead. We want soft belly here, bringing those breaths down into the belly from all that activation we just had. And then when you're ready, the gaze comes up to center, knees come up to center, and if you're bound, we unbind. Bringing the hips back to center in your own time. Hips over towards the right this time, right leg op option to take it over the left, so we've got bound roots on this side. And then we'll take that twist all the way to the left, taking any support you need. That right shoulder is lifting. Don't go so far with the twist. You can use that right foot as support on the floor. And if the right shoulder is grounded still, take the gaze over that right shoulder. Inhaling and exhaling 
any adjustments you need here, please go ahead and take it, but the breath should still be as fluid as you can make it. Gaze comes to center when you're ready and the knees come up to unbind if you're bound. Center yourself on your mat and then give yourself a little hug. And take those knees in, rock and roll any amount that you need to, anything that feels good here. If you want to come into a happy baby, then please do to finish your practice or any other movements that are good in your body. And from wherever you are, then we're going to rest in your own time. You've got plenty of time. If you're a happy baby or you're working through any other movements, otherwise we're coming into stillness. And that does not have to be on your back. It can be on your side. It can be sitting up. It can be on your belly. You can go and rest in your bed. Anything that feels good for you at all. Coming to a place that feels comfortable to you. And we snuggle in and settle down. Take a breath in when you're ready. Exhale it down and out. Take another few of those mindful breaths in and out. And then when you're ready, release down into that support underneath you as best as you can. Taking your awareness all the way down to the soles of your feet. And imagine on an inhale, you could draw your breath from your feet all the way up through your body to the crown of your head. That's the inhale and the exhale, sending your breath and your awareness down your body to the soles of your feet again. And so with each breath, you're bringing your awareness up on an inhale to the crown of your head, exhale, crown of your head down to the soles of your feet. Allow the breaths to be as steady and as fluid as you can make them. Continue to do this, but with as little effort as possible. And imagine that every exhale, as you send your breath and your awareness from the crown of your head down to the soles of your feet, you're breathing out tension and tightness. Every exhale, you're letting go of things you don't need anymore. Not only sensations in the body, but thoughts that arise. Stories, judgments, inner dialogue. Washing it all away on that exhale, the body's natural letting go mechanism. And 
You might even notice however you exhale, you can allow yourself to soften even more with every breath. Exhale to simply be a dissolving.
can stay there for as long as you like. Tune me out if you want to stay for longer. You're starting to notice that support underneath you in your own way. You start to become aware of the space around you. start to notice your body and start to fill your body with your own awareness. Crown of your head to the tip of your toes. Steady breath in through the nose, maybe out like a soft breeze through the mouth. fluidity of breath, smooth and easy, allowing that fluidity to start to bring movements into your body in your own way, no right and wrong, as we start to awaken after your practice. Stretching or curling in. Taking as much time as you need to as you come up to a place where you would like to finish your practice. Settling in. And then when you're ready, taking your hands in a gesture it feels right for you today. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Another big breath in. Exhale, draw your chin down towards your chest if that feels okay for you. And find the fluidity of breath within you right now. Allow this fluidity to guide you into your day ahead, week, weekend. And from my heart to yours, namaste.